that was actually not that bad. The most stressful thing I've ever done in my life. I was not expecting this. At least we're gonna hear it. a work day so I think that's why I can't sleep in because it's seven <laughs> but today's the day we're going to see Greta Van Fleet me for like the tenth time this is the first time Kyle's seen it let's get up let's get this house clean so we can go to the hotel and get ready all right Oh, good boy. I'm gonna go get cleaned um, and just get everything ready for when we come back because I hate coming back from any kind of vacation, getaway, night out, and everything's a fucking mess. So we are gonna go get that all trimmed up and then I have to take a shower. I don't know what time we're going to the hotel. I need to see if we can get an early check-in because we got floor seats, okay? Floor seats. And I really want to get there as early as possible so that I can be as close as possible and I want to feel the performers sweat on me, you know what I mean? So anyway, Kaleo was supposed to open for Greta and then they dropped out to go to Paris. I mean, whatever. No, I get it. But still kind of upset because I've already seen Kaleo, but like I wanted to see him like up closer, you know, but now I can't. So anyway, one of me and Kyle's songs is from Greta Van Fleet. It's called Mountain of the Sun and it's just super cute. Like he used to tell me like, you're mine, you're mine, or whatever. And he would call me um, his sunshine for some reason. And one of the lyrics in the song is, I'll make you mine, you're my sunshine. So, hence our song, it's perfect. And we are hoping that they play that tonight. Probably won't because they've had two albums since then. I'm also gonna do my makeup kind of cool. I got some jewels to put on my face to match this picture here. I'm gonna try to recreate. Possibly will not be it recreating as well as I think I'm going to but it's a day in the life and a non-aesthetic YouTube vlogger <laughs> so let me go clean up this house and then we can take a shower wash his hair call the hotel and figure our lives out okay So I'm trying to call the hotel to get early check-in and I don't think it is working. <laughs> That's like the third time that I've called, they answer and they put me on hold. I was on hold for 30 minutes last time. I'm just trying to see if we can get an early check-in. <laughs> Four hours later. So that was actually not that bad. Um. Apparently, rooms are first come, first serve. Don't know how that works in the hotel room industry, but I'm gonna see how quickly I can get Kyle ready and packed, and we're gonna get ready at the hotel room because I really don't wanna get ready here. 
and then have to drive to the hotel room, chill, and then, you know, you know, you know, okay, you know. Okay, I've got some Greta Van Fleet on the radio, and I'm about to pack my bag, and we're just gonna go ahead and get out of here. It is 8.54. I've got chapstick coming out of every direction. Okay, so the top I'm wearing is just too good to like keep hidden, but I am gonna contain myself and I'm not gonna show you until we get to the hotel because I just feel like the lighting will be better and it will hit better. Um, but I gotta wrap up this toiletry packing. Does it even stress anybody else out when you have to do your makeup somewhere else? Like, you remember when you'd go to a friend's house and you're like, let's get ready together. But you had to like make a conscious effort not to leave something that you're gonna need. It stresses me out every time. Definitely can't forget this because you know I'm gonna be vlogging the whole thing against Kyle's wishes. Okay, we made it. We're in a parking garage and that was the most stressful thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I still don't get the hype about living in the city. That was the most stressful drive I've ever done in my life. Ain't got no roaches or nothing. <laughs> the views are nice. At least we get a uh, vintage looking hotel. Now I was not expecting this. Okay, so first of all, we love frosted doors in hotel rooms, but like I opened this to the bathroom I mean, look at all the room for activities. <laughs> and the shower, you've got to be joking me. I act like I've never been out before. I act like this is my first time in a hotel and it's not, but like I've never heard of the AC Marriott. We usually try to stay at Marriott's because they're clean and there's a lot of them to go around, but like, Dang, the AC Marriott's where it's at. I've never heard of it, but I will be staying multiple times. Okay, so for the fit, um, obviously this is like all a collection of things. Pants, I think, were she in, Target, Target. Um, so these pants are like flowy. They have a slit down the side. Super comfortable and it's freaking hot here in Texas as everyone knows. And then I've got this little like crop top and I'm gonna put, of course, a um, inspo picture. This is where I got my in inspo from. Um, and I don't know, this top like works better with the outfit, but it's not as white. It's like a different shade of white. And then of course, you know, you can't go anywhere without your clear purse and a fan because it's freaking hot. Now for the freaking top reveal, guys. I'm just, I mean, look at the sparkle. Check it out. The moment, the moment. Ooh, I forgot there was a mirror right there. Really happy that I did not just show you guys me because from here down, I am not clothed. But super excited, I'm gonna get ready. Um, Kyle's not here, he went to the liquor store. <laughs> he walked um, in downtown Houston, so pray for him. I mean, seriously, I love the views, you guys. I really do. But this driving situation is just not it for me. It was so stressful. The one-way streets like kill me. I just, I don't know. I would rather jump out of this third story 
window and hope to survive than drive through that ever again. And then of course, we're gonna see how I do with these. Um, I am not Bailey Sarian. <laughs> I do not do makeup well, but we will see. Note to self when traveling, I need like a fan so that when I have to get ready somewhere, I mean, and this was kind of my fault because I did say I wanted to get ready in the hotel room, so. But I just felt like, you know, if I was rushing, it would be less of a rush if we're four minutes away versus 45 minutes away, so. Let's talk about Greta Van Fleet. So a couple of years ago, I was with a guy, go figure, um, not a couple of years ago, almost like, wow, that was almost like five or six years ago. And he introduced me to this band and I had never heard of them before. And I was like, okay, Led Zeppelin, you know, they kind of sound like Led Zeppelin, obviously. Well then I was like, I have to see him in concert. So I went and saw them for like 10, $15 in San Antonio. And then I saw him in Atlanta with Metallica, I've seen them a few other times here and there. I saw them again in San Antonio and in Sugarland, and now I'm seeing them again. And it's just like seeing a band and being a fan along their progression is just beautiful to me. I absolutely love it. So here's hoping. And I'm gonna be full disclosure, I'm not really fond of their new album. I like a few songs. So I'm kind of hoping that they, you know, like I said before, play some of their old songs, at least a few. They also do this really cool thing where like, I've been seeing online where they give you like a piece of paper and it turns your flashlight a different color and it makes like a rainbow in them. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. Well, I was trying to find a corner store, but it's in that fucking, the underground Stone. tunnel thing they got out here and I couldn't figure out how to get down there. They have an underground tunnel out here? Hotels have the premium sonic rooms. Is this universally known as Sonic Ice or is it called something different? If we've ever seen anyone get ready with a coffee and an alcoholic beverage. Mm. Okay, as I said, I'm not Bailey Sarian, but this is the makeup that you get. A little gold around, super cute, super simple. My eyelashes are looking good. And then I'm just gonna put like the little dots like right here, I think. Not very much like the inspo pick, but we're doing what we can with what we have, so. Okay, I mean, it's what I got. <laughs> Walking anywhere in Texas is like walking in a freaking oven. Got a ticket. At least I'll get a tan. Whew. Oh, that's what he said. He said it's behind the marquee. Well, he said it's behind the Hilton, which. There's the Hilton. Okay. I've been out here putting long clues in a hard hat. All right. A little blue collar man. So, concert doesn't start till 7.30. Gates don't open until six and it is two o'clock, I think. One o'clock. Number 106 and 105. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've been taking it from me. Woo! I'm not sure how this works. It works like this in San Antonio, but like Greta Van Fleet has this like fan club, I guess, that the stadiums honor. And it's basically like if you get there earlier than everyone else, they give out wristbands. And then, hold on. They give out wristbands and they are like, I guess higher in number because the way GA or like pit will work is that they line you up in numbers to get closer to the stage. So like the closer you are to number one, the closer you are to the stage, I guess. And the fan club will give out wristbands before that. So, and the GK for Toyota Center is pretty wide and we're only 105. Super excited, so. I love the fans that dress up for this stuff. It's just awesome. And we got little rainbow flags. At least we're gonna hear it. This is so stinking cute. You're supposed to make your phone look like a rainbow. Doing like my little place this paper. Oh my god, how cute. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm shaking. Go, 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 go. Don't fall, please don't fall. Tina took a tumble. Oh no. They're setting up for 30 minutes. Gotta fix the curtain. What about Dick? I see that right now. It's the best glass of water I've had in my entire life. Never do 
the stand-up thing again. My feet are killing me. And I'm sweating. But that's fun. Now, ma'am, I'm gonna have to get me some of those. So we had to come home last night because of this little fucker. Huh, Teddy. That's it. <laughs> See, I was barking all night and the neighbor called us to come home. So we left after the concert. I know. And now mama's having mediocre coffee instead of Starbucks. What do you have to say to yourself? Say, uh, mama, I did not do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs>